Hello my friends, I'm Sarah. Welcome to Grace in My Space. Today we're doing a fun furniture flip and I think that you're going to enjoy seeing a different method. We're in full swing. I have had to slow my project roll down to a summer pace. You can probably hear my kids jumping on the trampoline in the background. Um, this summer is going to be interesting to see what I can bring to you in the midst of being um, mom. And so that's just a normal everyday thing, part of life. And I'm excited to just continue to share some cool projects with you guys this summer. And the first up is this table. Today we're working outside selfie style. I have this new table that I got at my last flea market trip and I'm going to refinish it using the easy off method. I've done it once before, I know it works. This just has a lot of red undertones and I'd like to take the finish off before I sand it down. A little bit easier way to do this rather than only sanding because of all of the curves on the legs. So let me show you how to do it. There's a lot of controversy over using this method, but if you missed it, it went viral last year using easy off oven cleaner or a Walmart brand. You spray it on really liberally and then wait 20 minutes. Just so we're on the same page. Should have been wearing a mask and gloves to do that. Oops. After waiting 20 minutes, you will start to see the finish bubbling up and coming off. And really, you don't need to wait any longer than 20 minutes. It comes off really easily, even though it doesn't look like you're doing anything. So after you've waited that time frame, take a bucket of soapy water and a soft bristled brush and scrub everything down really well. It will look like you are doing nothing, but you are actually doing something. This is a great example right here of that finish just melting off as I scrub. Once you've scrubbed everything down, rinse it really well. You can see here all that varnish just flying off the sides. And remember, wood and water technically don't really mix, but if you have a solid wood piece, it will be okay to rinse it off and then make sure that you dry it with a towel and put it directly into the sun outside so that it can dry as quickly as possible. Five minutes of the sun, let's dry this out. The drawer front, really nice, really pretty tabletop and the legs looking pretty rough we're gonna have a long way to go don't panic because this is what it looks like a couple of hours later I was actually really pleased and slightly shocked that it turned out this well and then the next stage is moving on to sanding it down <laughs> I started with 80 grit and then slowly worked from 150 to 220. Sanding it is a two-fold process. Number one, it removes any of that raised grain from using water, and then it also takes off any extra finish that the oven cleaner did not take off. Look at that gorgeous wood tone that was hiding underneath all of that stain. Still gotta touch up the legs a bit, but we're getting there. Let's take a quick look at where I've left this off. I wanted to see how it dried. I love the way that the legs look. They actually turned out really, really pretty. Um, but the top is a different type of wood than the other pieces, and sometimes that happens. So it's in a bit of rough shape, and I would like to kind of even out the top with a paint wash that will hopefully preserve a lot of the wood tone, but just kind of make it all feel like it is made of the same wood. I wanted to keep my wood tone more on the brown side, so I used a taupe paint color and mixed it half and half with water. Looking back, I would have done less paint and more water to keep it a little bit more translucent. I would have probably done three parts water to one part paint.
I should have worn gloves, but didn't didn't plan well. I just found that it works a lot better than brushing to just dip a rag and rub it on, which is how I normally apply stain. So I feel like it's a really similar method. Wipe it on, get a different rag or find a dry part of the rag, wipe it off. Now this is a great example of what that paint wash does. So the left side has been paint washed, the right side has not. And while it does lighten it, it also just removes a lot of that yellow undertone so that it's a little bit more of a natural, I guess not natural, cause this is the natural color, <laughs> but it's just a lighter color with less undertones in it. All right, this is beautiful and it could totally be stopped right now, but I think it's a little too light now. So I'm gonna add a layer of stain on top and just give a little bit more color back to it. Right side has an application of stain. This leg is actually the only one left that does not have stain added. And you can see it just adds a little bit more depth to the wood and removes a bit of the whitewashing to bring some of those wood tones back. This table turned out so good. I can't believe the price that I got it at the flea market and then just a really simple process to update it. It doesn't look like new, which is perfect because I didn't want it to look like new. I love the look of old pieces and I want to preserve some of that, but just kind of bring it back down to its original state, even out some of those wonky wood tones from years and years of use. And now it's going to be a beautiful centerpiece in my home. watching this process if you've ever tried the oven cleaner method drop it in the comments did it work for you did it not I've heard both sides of things that it doesn't work great on painted pieces but that it does work well on stained pieces and I think that this is pretty good evidence that it did actually work very well for a stain and a heavy varnish that was on this piece I snagged this super cute little stool at a thrift store for three dollars could not believe it it's a really cute shape just like a little i don't know milkmaid stool i don't know what it would have originally been used for it's not super antique it's definitely vintage but it's not like a hundred years old and so i was kind of thinking maybe i would try the same method on the stool i also kind of don't mind the finish it's pretty well there's some scratches but it's pretty nice already what would your vote be would you lighten this up with the same method? Would you leave it stained the way it is? Would you paint it? What would you do with this piece? It might be my next project. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.